This troubleshooting video is for the version 2 of the Wi-Fi kit. Please check that you have a power light on the left hand side. If you do, please continue. If you don't, please go back to our website page and look at the version 1 videos. Thank you. Hi, I'm going to show you how to update your router's firmware to make it compatible with certain campsite, marina and BT Fond login pages. You will need a Windows laptop like I have here to install the firmware update. Please make sure your laptop has an ethernet port like mine does here. Once you've checked that you have an ethernet port on your laptop or PC, we need to download the firmware update from the Kuma website. So open a web browser and go to www.kuma.co.uk. On our website, go to support and go to F and Q's and click on the Kuma Wireless Wi-Fi Hotspot Kit version 1 and 2. Select the wireless symbol image. As you can see, there are other troubleshooting videos if you ever need to watch them. At the bottom of the page, you will see if you need firmware, click here. Click this link and the firmware will begin to download. We would recommend placing the firmware on the desktop of the PC so you can find it when needed. Next, we will need to extract the file from the zipped folder. Find your zipped folder and right click. Click Extract All. It will ask you where you want to extract the file to. By default, it asks you to extract the file where the original folder is located. Once you're happy with where the file is going to be extracted, you can click Extract. And a folder will open with the bin file, which is the update file we need. We would then recommend clicking it and dragging it to the desktop. Closing the file and deleting the folder and the zipped folder. So you are just left with the bin update file. Next, we are going to plug in the router ready to apply the update to it. You will need to get the white lead that comes in the box with your kit. Please make sure your Wi-Fi on your device is turned off. Next, plug one end of your white cable into the LAN 1 port on the router. And plug the other end of the cable into your laptop's Ethernet port. Once you have done this, the network will come up and you should have no internet at the moment. Now we are going to apply the update. Open your internet browser and log in to the router's setup page with 192.168.45.1. Log in if you're required to. Close the network to extend page. Currently we are on firmware version 0 0.4. We are going to be updating it to 0 0.9. To update, go to System and click System Maintenance. Make sure Keep Current Configuration is turned on. Next, we are going to select the firmware file. Click the orange paperclip symbol. This will bring up a box to locate the update file. 
So I saved mine to the desktop. Once you have found the file, click it and then click open. As you can see now, the firmware file name is in the section. Once you are happy the firmware file has been selected, you can click the red upgrade button. The system will say loading. And you will be brought to a screen that says system flashing. This means the update is being applied to the router. Please do not touch anything for the next two minutes. When your router is updating, the lights on the front of your router will begin to flash like this. Please do not touch anything until the lights have gone back solid. I'll be back with you once my router has finished updating. When the kit has finished updating, you will have a solid power, solid USB and solid wireless light. The LAN light will flicker. This is normal. We can now log back in to the router with your password. The only thing that has changed during the setup is the easy setup options. I'm going to connect my kit now to a BT Fon hotspot to show that the login page is now working. Under wireless hotspot extender, you can click the green next button. The kit will then do a scan for networks that the wireless antenna can see. As you can see, I have a BT Fon hotspot. I'm going to select that and click the blue select button. we would recommend clicking the lock hotspot Mac. The BT signal has no password, so I do not need to enter one. Under network password, this needs to be a custom eight character long password. If you already have one input, you do not need to do this step. Once you are happy, you can click the green finish button. The kit will now do a two minute reboot. Once the kit has completed its reboot, you should then be brought back to the internet status page. As you can see, I have under my SSID, BT Wi-Fi with FOM and a green connected status in the top right. To access the login page, open a new tab and try going to BBC or any other internet site and it will prompt you to connect to a network. Click connect and this will then take you to the login page for either the campsite marina or BT Wi-Fi with FON network. From here you will need to log in as you usually would. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any other trouble with your kit, please visit our F&Qs page on our website for other tech videos.